What's up, Culture Drab? This video is about embracing change, and I wanna share with you a perspective that I use that really makes going through change in situations that I'm navigating a lot easier. If you are a human being, check, then change is constant in your life. Big changes, small changes, et cetera. Oh, some of you know that my background is in improv. I did improv for very many years. I taught improv, performed improv. And so that's the kind of lens that I'm gonna share with you to talk about how I, the tools that I use to navigate change and have it be more easy for me. Okay, so backing up a little bit of context and foundation for what I'm about to talk about. Improv is based around this concept of yes and, that everything that your partner does is considered an offer. Your job is to say yes to it, ex immediately accept it, and then add more information onto it. That's how improv works in a nutshell. And so improvisers are the ultimate change agility sort of agents because we have to become masterful at change in the moment. And to learn how to do improv well, you have to literally learn how to just pivot in, in a moment's notice on a dime because you never know what's gonna happen next in an improv scene. If you've seen Whose Lines It Anyway, that's like what I mean when I say improv, I don't mean stand up jokes. Part of becoming and learning how to become a great improviser is about learning how to change in the moment. So I'm gonna share with you a real life example in an improv context and setting of like how improvisers are great at change. So for example, if I have this idea that like I love space and I want to be a, a space captain and I want to be in a spaceship about to head into space, then I might initiate a scene on stage where I'm like I'm hitting some knobs and turning dials thinking, okay, I'm on a spaceship. I'm just getting ready to like launch this spaceship. And my partner, my improv partner who right is watching me doesn't necessarily know what I'm doing. I just start doing these things. And I'd be really excited about the scene that I'm gonna go into space. But my improv partner can just come on stage and be like, hey, uh, I didn't see any broccoli in the produce section. Do you guys carry broccoli? So what's happened is that I thought I was in a spaceship about to go to space, which I'm excited about. My scene partner came in and made an offer, basically imbuing that like, uh, endowing that like, we are in a grocery store, I'm an employee, and they're looking for broccoli. So the moment that that happens in an improv scene, as an improviser, I have to drop the spaceship thing. I have to let go of that reality because if I try to be like, broccoli, what are you talking about? We're about to launch into space. It looks ridiculous, right? And that's how you ruin an improv scene is by not accepting and not moving forward where I'm trying to like convince and force the scene to be what I want. So instantly in the moment, I have to accept that person's offer so that the scene makes sense. So I have to be like, oh yeah, um, we just ran out of broccoli or whatever. I have to immediately be like, okay, I'm no longer in a spaceship. I am now in a grocery store and I work there. That's the scene I'm in with my partner. So as improvisers, we, come, we become masterful at being able to pivot and not being attached to what we wanted to have happen or attached to an outcome or like, right, forcing the reality of what's true in this moment. And so improvisers are the ultimate in that of like change agents because we have to be so good at change in the moment. There's such a parallel there in real life. And for me personally, because that's so ingrained in me of doing that for so many years and, and becoming an improviser and learning and training and practicing that, it's so easy for me to pivot like, and embrace change because for me, the tool is sort of like, what is my reality right now? And I think that's kind of the parallel for you as you think about changes at work or changes in your life which is like the, the ability to remain present and in the moment to be like, what is my reality? Because when we fight with what's real, when we resist change or are reluctant about change, especially if it's something that we have no control over. Your company's rolling out a new system or software and like you're not a decision maker, they're like, this is what we're doing and you have to embrace it. You've got two options, either be drugged through the mud reluctantly and be like, eh, this sucks, I hate this and have it suck for you or be able to be like, okay, this is what's true. I'm gonna embrace that. I'm gonna do the best that I can with what is true right now. So for me, when I'm facing big changes, changes, I, I sort of like will take an inventory of myself of what, what do I want this to feel like? If I embrace this, this reality, and like do my best based on what's true for me right now, like it's going to feel a lot better for me than if I'm reluctant, if I'm resentful that this change is happening to me because I don't like it. It's like, what do I want it to feel like to go through this change? It's true, it's already happening no matter whether I want it or not. And I think that's such a useful tool for you to think about as you go through your life and things happen to you, it's like, how do you want it to feel in the moment? And I think taking that inventory on yourself of like, how do I want this to feel? And it will always feel better and easier if you're like, this is what my reality is. I'm gonna go forward and do the best that I can, regardless of whether or not I like the circumstances and the situation versus I'm gonna make this torturous for myself. I'm gonna feel defeated. I'm gonna feel like a victim, right? I'm gonna just be like, oh no, this happened and, and struggle through this change. So I think there's a lot of different areas, whether that's in like personal or romantic relationships, it's work kind of situations, um, all of us face a great amount of change in our life. 
And to me, it's like taking that tip or that perspective from improv of just like, what is true right now? How do I want this to feel for me? I think can be a really useful way to kind of like snap out of change. If you hate it and it, and it happened and, you're, and you feel like you're like in misery because of this change, that for me can be a, a good way to kind of pull me out to be like, what's true? How do I move forward and make this awesome? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel or you can sign up for the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails and videos right into your inbox.